Right, today we're going to be looking at a brand new Xiaomi vacuum. This is called the Roidme Stick Vacuum. So let's see what's inside the box, features, and a cleaning test later on on bare floor and rug. So let's get started. Okay, so here's everything from the box. So you have the motor, the main cleaning head, extra brush, it's the brush cleaning tool, the socket, the extension, extension wand, and this would be the brush tool. So let, let's go through this one by one. This would be the main cleaning head found here. This, this is the soft roller head. This is similar to the tool found in the Dyson V8 and V10. So this is like cloth here. This is designed to grab large particles of dirt on bare floor. You'll see how this works in the cleaning test. And this one is another another brush, brush head. Um, I presume that this would be great on carpet. I'll be testing this on carpet later on. So to remove this, you'll need to press this latch upwards, uh, downwards, excuse me, and this one comes off and you can remove this brush hole. Let me try to do this with one hand. Okay, so I now have the camera on the tripod. So to remove this, you just have to press this lever to release this lock. Pull the brush out, the soft roller bar out, like so, and get the other brush so this part goes to the right and just press it in and lock it again so I presume that this this bristle bar will work best on on carpet and let's, let me just try to lock this in place okay, now. okay. so this this um, squeegee and bristle bristle bar I think would be would work great on carpet and this one would do well on bare floor again I will compare the performance of this two in a separate video brush brush tool is also a crevice tool when you pull this out it becomes a crevice tool although this isn't this isn't as long as I'd, I'd like it to be and all of the attachments, all of these tools attach to this main um, this main vacuum head. Let me just remove this plastic here. And it locks in place like so. So this is how the motor, motor looks like. And this is where the dirt goes in. And to unlock, just press this lever to unlock. So it's pretty solid. Xiaomi, if you if you have used Xiaomi products, you'll know that they they use quali high quality materials. This motorized brush is pretty heavy, so you'll know that there's a motor inside. And push it in. This attached directly to the to the motor, and this head swivels back and forth. And it also comes with a. Let me just try to remove this. This, would, this is the extension wand that allows you to use this on, on floors. So you attach the extension wand and the brush head here. And this turns into a stick vacuum. And let me just charge this and I'll show you how it works on bare floor and carpet. Before I do the cleaning test, let me just show you how to remove this bin. So you'll need to press this lever to remove this bin from the motor the filter is located behind behind the bin and just remove this filter I'm not sure if this is HEPA um, again please check the article the review to find out the specs complete specs of this vacuum and let's just try to open this bin and to unlock you just press this button here up front and you it re it reveals the bin the bin itself is not very big and let me 
just try to remove try to remove this if we can remove the this clear plastic from this white plastic I'm not sure if you can do that uh, but, oh you can do it so what you do is you just lift up this handle and pull everything out this is handy if you need to clean this part if dust settles in this part and you can use a brush to clean this or another vacuum so let's just put this back and put the filter back on like so so let's put this bin back on the vacuum let's put this back like so and one more thing you can the plug goes here and this part you can attach the plug this charging this plug attach it here on the back side of the handle okay so let's try out how this vacuum sounds how loud it is and how the button works so you can see here that this is the power button press this and the vacuum starts up this would be the default cleaning mode press it a second time and it goes into max it sounds like a jet and press a third time and the motor shuts off so this is nice in that you don't have to press this constantly so you can also adjust the suction through this button so let, let us try again this would be the default mode and this one turns on the max press it again and it goes back to normal mode and you can use this to shut it off you'll also see that um, this would be the charge indicator so right now it's at 3 so if, if this is fully charged it, it all of this lights up another cool feature that this vacuum has would be this wall mountable bracket so you, you mount this using two screws on the wall you'll notice that it doesn't have any locking mechanism it uses magnet so this one attaches over here so it will just stick so see pretty cool pretty cool feature less um, you don't need to unlock anything when you want to use this just pull this out like so and put it back in when you're not using it how well this product performs I'll test it on this huge pile of dirt this is a mix of oats and powder and dust so I'll just put the camera back on the tripod I'll use the default cleaning cleaning power default power mode and see how it does one pass and I'll turn it off Okay, you'll notice that it picked up nearly all of the dust I scattered on the floor. So this is pretty much clean. Just rub my hand around. So I don't feel any dust particles on this area. Now let me complete this area here. does swivel it does a good job swiveling even in default cleaning mode it really did a good job cleaning this part so let me just move you over to the, to the cleaning head and see how it looks like afterwards so this is the cleaning head and it did leave a few pieces of oats here but you know you wouldn't mind that look at the dirt that it cleaned amount of dirt so this is the area that 
where I scattered the dirt and it's pretty much dust free I'm trying to feel it I don't feel any dust so this is what's left of the dirt few pieces few stray pieces of oats let me just uh, clean this up first then I'll move you over I'll move over to the carpet clean test using the same same roller brush see how it does Pretty much does the cleaning test for bare floor. For the next test, I'll be testing this um, vacuum on carpet, the Roid Me, using the same soft roller head. Now let me just empty this. Let me just show you how to empty this bin quickly. So you'll just pull this lever up to empty. And I'll just dump all of this dirt here on carpet. So let me just spread this around a bit, see how much dirt this vacuum has to work with. And let me put this back, cover back on the vacuum and start the cleaning test. But first let me just show you how it looks like close up. So that's a pretty good, pot, um, pretty good amount of dirt on this low pile rug. So I'll do one back and forth pass, then pause the camera and show you how it looks like one back and forth pass one thing i notice about this vacuum that it's it's with the soft roller brush on, it's pretty much self-driven. You'll feel the vacuum move forward. And let's look closely at the debris on carpet. It did a really good job. Here there are some particles of dust left. And let me just move over. Let me just clean the rest of the mess here. Okay, it's pretty much clean. Let me just give you a close-up look of the carpet. This is the area that I, where I scattered the dirt. So it did a really good job of picking up powder, dust, and pretty much all of the debris. Now this is low pile carpet, so expect it to perform the same on similar pile carpet. Now look underneath. There's nothing left here. Everything is inside the bin. So this tool did a really good job in picking up dirt on bare floor and carpet. Now let's move over to the bristle brush and squeegee brush and see how it does. So right now I have the bristle and squeegee brush combo installed on the Roid me. Let's see how it does cleaning this big mess. So let's see how it does. All right, there was a bit of no plowing but it eventually picked up all of the dirt I don't feel any dust now let me just um, pick up this mess and do the carpet the rug test
Okay, for the final test in this video, I'll just show you what this vacuum has to deal with. It's a huge mess here. This again is a combo of oats and dust powder. So I'll do one back and forth pass and see how much it leaves behind. I'll turn it on in normal mode. See how it does. One back and forth pass. So it did leave behind some debris over here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera that there are some bits of powder left in this area. And some here. And let's see. I'll just turn on the max power and see if it does better. And with the squeegee and bristle brush tool, it doesn't have the self-propelling motion that the soft roller head has or does. So let me turn on the max and see if it will pick up everything. So I will do several passes. See how it does. give you a close-up view see how it did and it really picked up most of the dust there are some particles of dust left here but for the most part it picked up all of the surface dirt and this vacuum really did a good job let's check on the motorized brush itself it and see if there debris left but I don't see any debris so this really is a good product you know if if a Dyson v6 or v8 or v10 is too expensive consider this not as versatile as the Dyson not as ergonomic it's this tool is really heavy you know that this really has a motor so this is really heavy duty but replacing interchanging this and the soft roller head is easy just just pull this lever and this one comes out easy if you want to find out more about this product please head over to the review section i'll post a link below and if you want to watch any more videos about about this and other products future products please subscribe and thanks again for watching